Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I set up for a new month in my budget book that I sell as a printable in my shop. So this is the monthly bill view. I wrote down my monthly bills on the side here. Um, I just looked through my checking account to see when these auto payments came out. Um, March was a little different because we had a quarterly pest management company come so they just charge me quarterly um, I do want to start setting up a sinking fund account but electronically so that an automated amount just comes out every month into and goes into that savings account so that when the next quarter comes around um, this payment will come out and I'll just reimburse myself basically so let's go ahead and get started I used some payday stickers that I have on this new uh, order sampler. So if you place an order, a physical order with me, you'll get a little free sticker sheet that you can use in your planner or on your calendar, anything like that. It has really cute envelopes on there that I made and um, just some words that you can put in your planner. So what I like to do is just notate my paydays, as you can see here. And then I have two different highlighters and two different colored pens. You can see they kind of coordinate with each other. <laughs> so this is what I like to do. I, I really like uh, notating my paydays with highlighter. So I'll just kind of like go around the sticker. And then there's this payday. Okay. So any bills that get paid with this paycheck, I will write in purple. And any bills that get paid with this paycheck will get written in green. Okay, so I know for the eighth, I have several things coming out on this paycheck. So I have my Compassion International and Compassion is just, I sponsor a child and that's $45 a month. And then I know I'm gonna be paying my Wells Fargo credit card with this one as well. Wells Fargo. And then I'm also going to be paying my Citibank credit card with this paycheck. Even though it does fall after my 22nd payday, I'm still going to be paying it with the money I earn on the 8th. And then I have my Hulu. And that gets charged by Apple, which is why it's over here under Apple. Because my subscription is through um, the app. Spotify. And then I also have insurance. So... Car insurance and renter's insurance will come out on the 14th. And then I also have the gym, which that will probably come out on the 17th as well. My Chase credit card is also due on the 17th. My Rabbit's Hay will also be getting paid this month. That is on the 20th. So the hay, the Timothy hay is also subscription based and that comes every six weeks, I believe. So that's just something that I have to just keep in mind every time I do my budget. So now we can do the 22nd payday. So for the 22nd payday, I know I have my personal loan, which is the lending club. I have not used this pen in a while. And then my care credit. And then pretty litter. Number two is basically what this one is. And then my air filter, 
usually comes out on the 28th as well, but I'm just gonna put it over here. My air filter comes out the 27th. Then I do believe Chewy will be coming out on this pay cycle as well. So I'm just gonna put it on the 29th because that one I can kind of change whatever day it comes out on. Google and Apple storage. So I'm just gonna do storage. And then I will also be paying my my PayPal for May. So the do so May 8th is when it's due. So I'm just going to put um, PayPal down here. And I'll just notate that I'll, that it's for the eighth. Sorry if you can hear little Miss Ellie. Yeah, she wants attention at the worst times. <laughs> so Chewy, um, that's where I order all the cat's food, and it's where I also order some bunny stuff as well. But we have four cats and two rabbits, so pet supplies can get kind of expensive so it's nice to have it on a subscription service where I can save just a little bit of money every month so I think that's it for setting up my monthly budget and pretty soon here I will set up my my monthly debt tracker and my monthly savings tracker so stay tuned I'll be right back hey everyone welcome back so I filled in my debt tracker and my savings tracker. So I wrote down all of the current balances of the debt that I have right now that I'm currently paying off. And then these are my sinking funds that I have. And I did start a new envelope, which is the savings challenge envelope. And that's where I will be using my um, my my saving scratcher right here. So I'm, I'm going to start out with the a thousand dollar one So I already scratched a couple of them off. So I need to take out cash to put into this envelope But That is the debt and the savings. So I filled in my monthly bill view I did my my debt and then I did my savings tracker and then what's next would be my paycheck budget and I will see you soon. Okay, here is my paycheck budget. I filled in um, my expected income for the for this paycheck and I was just out in the garden, sorry. <laughs> um, but I filled in all of the bills that I'll be paying with this paycheck and I also anticipate on putting about $485 onto my Chase credit card, mostly from um, expected Debt free panda income so i am planning on having a restock this month not necessarily like on april 8th but i just kind of wanted to put this down to keep me i guess motivated to keep creating envelopes and getting as much done as i can um because if you didn't see my april goals post on instagram i do have a goal of listing a hundred sets of cash envelopes so all of that income will definitely help me put extra money towards my debt as you can see here as well as you know cover shipping and um, taxes all that all those other really fun small business expenses but so this is my paycheck and that is basically it so um, when it gets closer to my paycheck I'll fill in the cash breakdown um, I will also as you as you saw before, I am starting at my one thousand dollar savings challenge. So I put the cash down that I'm going to be taking out here. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed this quick little review on how I set up for the month. Especially um, now that I have this new printable book in the shop, I'm really happy with it, and I already have ideas on a new version I want to make. So let me know your thoughts below. What you think of this monthly setup. How do you usually start setting up for the month? I would love to know and maybe we can share ideas together in the comments. Okay, bye guys.